Wait, Drake Bell did what? That's insane. The former star of the Nickelodeon series Drake and Josh, Drake Bell, is facing up to two years in prison. He tried to resist it at first, but it seems like justice doesn't have its favorites. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover Drake Bell's reaction to being sentenced eight years in prison. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. Just a little background check. For those of you who are not familiar with the celebrity involved, Jared Drake Bell is a former star of Nickelodeon series Drake and Josh, a young adult sitcom that aired for four seasons on Nickelodeon from 2004 up to 2007. Mr. Bell played one of a half pair of stepbrothers who lived together despite having conflicting personalities. He was also known for his starring roles on Nickelodeon's The Amanda Show. He's also a part of the trilogy in the Fairly Odd Parents movies on the same channel. On top of that, he was the voice of Peter Parker in the animated series Ultimate Spider-Man on Disney. And his career went up since then. In addition to acting, Bell has a career in music starting in the early age of 2000s, at the time of his appearances on The Amanda Show, with a band named Drake 24-7. In 2005, he released his debut album called Telegraph. After a year, he then released his second album called It's Only Time after signing with Universal Motown Records. However, even though the actor had a promising career background, it seems like he has had his own recklessness as well. In 2021, the star faces up to two years in prison after pleading guilty on Wednesday to two charges against the star in relation to a girl who he met online, who attended one of his concerts in Cleveland back in 2017. In June of 2021, the former star was charged with attempted child endangerment, a felony, and disseminating a material harmful to children, a misdemeanor. Mr. Bell agreed to plead deal at a virtual court hearing on Wednesday. However, he had initially pleaded not guilty to both charges. The sentencing range is probation to two years in prison. According to the prosecutors, the charges stem from an incident at a concert in Cleveland back on December 1, 2017. Mr. Bell, who is prominently known as Drake Campana, has posted a tweet saying that he had a show scheduled at the Odeon Concert Club on the said date. Prosecutors said that the star engaged in a malicious conversation with a 15-year-old girl that was at times sexual in nature. An investigation by the Cleveland Police Department revealed that Mr. Bell had sent the girl inappropriate social media messages in the months before the show. The judge then told Mr. Bell that if he did serve time in prison, his activities could possibly be restricted up to three years after his release, which is a lot of damage to his career. The victim in the story released a statement by saying, First, I would like to start out by saying, I don't really care if anyone believes me, as this is my story and my life and something that I went through, she said. It wasn't until recently that I actually realized that abuse isn't something that all women have to go through. She then continued by saying, When I started dating Drake, I was 16. I was homeschooled. I moved in with him. I was singing. It wasn't until about a year when the verbal abuse started. And when I say verbal abuse, imagine the worst type of verbal abuse you can ever imagine. And it was what I got. She detailed out the abuse furthermore. She said, at the pinnacle of it, he drugged me down the stairs of our house in Los Feliz. My face hit every step on the way down. I have photos of this. I don't even want to get into the underage girls thing. I mean, I will, but I'm scared. She concluded by saying, This is my truth. I hope this message reaches young girls, and that no one has to go through what I did. The former star of various Nickelodeon shows was brought up on charges and he seemed to be wanting to fight them in order to clear his name and reputation. However, he's pleaded guilty to them. In the court itself, it seems like the former star knows what he's up to. He was even asked if he understood what was happening, and he wholeheartedly said yes. It's safe to say that he knows what's coming, and if he pleads not guilty to give it a shot. His lawyer, Ian N. Friedman, did not immediately respond to request for comment on the media. We want to hear your thoughts about this. What are your insights about the child star turned into an abuser? Let us know in the comments section down below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. That's right, we make engaging videos like this every week. And by subscribing, you won't miss out on any of them. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next video.